Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's video. This week I'm going to talk about race. Ah! I wanted to talk about this quite early on in starting my videos because I didn't just want to be just another big giant white feminist. Um, and I think that like maybe if you've been watching them for the last few weeks, you know a lot of the issues might seem quite trivial. I mean, I don't think they are, but they might appear to be. But I wanted to address the issue of race very early on to make it clear that I, I don't just think the issues I've discussed for the last few weeks are every issue that women face, they're, they're certainly not. You know, while they might seem terrible for one, you know, group of women, that might not even scratch the surface of what it's like for another group of women, i.e. black women. And I guess, like, when I look at those topics, yes, I, you know, complain about those things, um, like the everyday sexism things that I talk about. Well, some days you're just having a horrendous time and you're just like, oh god, like, why am I a woman in this world today? Like, why am I being treated this way? And it's horrendous and you just feel like not going outside. And But then, at the same time, I have to be aware that I have it so good. And what I mean by that is like, I always say this, that I am just one step away from being in the most privileged position in the world. And that is simply the fact that I'm just a woman and not a man. You know, if I was a man, I would have won, you know, the privileged lottery. And so, you know, when I'm having those terrible days and I feel like I'm, God, this is just, it's just horrendous. I have to be aware that like, I have it so good in so many other aspects of my life. Like, yes, I'm discriminated against on the basis of being a woman, but I am not discriminated against by the colour of my skin or by anything else. And, and so I think that's something that I really wanted to start talking about early on. And on that, I don't think I, I have any authority to really speak on this um, as a white woman, but I think it would be completely remiss of me and ignorant of me not to address this when I make videos on feminism, like it would be insane of me not to think that race comes into how women are discriminated against, that that, that would be insane. And so I don't want to act like I have you no know, anything to be honest really because I, I don't think I do but I do want to start a conversation and start talking about it and um yeah just so everyone knows I'm not a giant white feminist <laughs> Oops. so I guess I'd want to start off with a story so a few weeks ago I think maybe maybe a month or two ago I did I was doing anti-racism training and so I was all excited and I kind of just want to talk about my friends reactions to this and by my friends, I mean predominantly white people. So I was describing it as I was going to, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to racism training. And of course, everyone made jokes like, oh, they're going to be training you to be racist, is it? And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So after that joke was made by literally everyone that I told, like a lot of people were just like, oh, why are you going to that? Like, a lot of, a lot of people were just like, why, why are you bothering with that? And I was like, to try and combat racism I, I, what <laughs> like it was kind of bizarre like some people were just like oh I thought that was sorted like you know the whole racism thing I was like no that's very much still ongoing yeah another person was like oh fair play to you for giving up your weekend to do that to me I was just like I'm not this isn't giving up my weekend this is making the most of my weekend and going to do anti-racism training, that's, I'm not like, you know, paying for my sins, it's not like a martyr thing, or I don't even know, I was just like, this, what? But I also don't want to like, brownie points for fucking doing anti-racism training, I, I don't mean it in that way, but I was just like, this is like the very least I could do as a white person on this planet, to, to, to try and combat this in some way, shape or form. But yeah, it was just really interesting, everyone's reactions, it was pretty much just like, a, a general sense of, oh, why are you, why are you bothering going to that? as if white people have no part to play in the whole dismantling racism thing. It was quite bizarre. But yeah, but that was, I did my course and it was, it was brilliant. I'll actually link the people who did it again above below. And I think they can like, if you are interested, if you're, I think they're like Germany based. So if you're kind of in and around the area and you want people to maybe come to your company or whatever and do it, then they do that. So yeah, it was, it was brilliant. But I guess for me, what I also wanted to talk about was Oh, it's just so embarrassing that I'm even like saying this because I'd say every black person watching is just like, oh for God's sake. Um, but I, my like, what I describe as my like moment where I realized that I was white <laughs> or I kind of realized my entitlement, I guess, was, it was years ago. And I, I actually, I tell everyone this story because it, I was in such shock. It was a few years ago, maybe like 2015, I think. 
and I was in college and I was in the library meant to be doing an assignment but I was on the Tiffany's website so Tiffany jewelry and I was looking at rings I like rings and on their website you can like look at a ring and you can see what the ring looks like on a hand which is a really cool kind of feature I think and so I was I was doing this and I was looking at the ring on a hand and the hand was white but I didn't I didn't take any notice of the color of the hand because subconsciously I obviously thought well of course it's white why would it be any other color until I looked to the side of the hand and I saw a little dial that like moved up and down and the color of the hand changed and in that moment I've honestly I've never been so shocked in my whole entire life and this might just set people are probably collectively rolling their eyes right now but up until that point it hadn't even occurred to me that that hand would be any other color besides white and I was just like oh my god like I realized in that moment like I expected that hand to be white and if it had been a different color I probably would have noticed that I probably would have thought oh that's strange or that's different that's not what I'm used to but when I just saw white it didn't even occur to me and I, re I just realized in that moment my, my, my subconscious entitlement that I expected everything to be white because that's the standard for me and you know you hear a lot of it like you know representation um, about how black people and black women are not represented in the media and in you know movies and different things and since that's happened I just keep thinking like imagine you're looking at websites and you're looking at ads in you know magazines and you're looking at movies and you were just constantly not seeing yourself represented like it's very dehumanizing because you're not seeing yourself represented so you're actually internalizing that and you're thinking Jesus am I am I even a person am I even like why am I not seeing who I am represented you know out there in on you know in movies and does that mean that I shouldn't be on this planet if it, if you know if the movies rep represent the planet and I'm not in them where does that leave me and so yeah that just that day on, on the Tiffany's website is just I describe it as like my moment of just complete and utter like awakening I guess which is just so cliche but really it was just huge and since then I just tried to be so so conscious of it and just not be just a giant white person but yeah I think I think it's just really really good to be conscious of it and again you know like people often kind of get mad what white people get mad because they're like well I you know I, I'm not sorry for being white or I'm not gonna be apologetic and it's like you can't change the color of your skin no one's asking you to do that you, like that's not possible but just to be aware of your whiteness and know that it brings you privilege whether you realize it or not but it does and so yeah I wanted to talk about uh, just one or two times where I've really realized my privilege or I've kind of been aware of it or Maybe it has impacted the situation, but maybe it's not. And I think that's kind of one of the important things to realize is that you are not always aware of when your privilege is, is benefiting you, but it, it probably is there. And I think it doesn't really help us being like, oh no, but how do you know it was in that circumstance? I think just accepting that it probably was. I'm just getting over it, to be honest. I just really have no time for, for white people who are just in, who just don't think that racism exists it's just kind of insane at this point but one story that I have it was a couple of months ago and I was crossing a road and it was like me and there was a black woman next to me and I I always just cross the road when there's even when the, the person is not green no I said green person and not green man ha! so I always just cross the road and I just don't care and I'm I people kill me for it but I don't care and so in this particular instance I just crossed and I realized that the woman who had been next to me she didn't cross the road and in that moment I just couldn't help but feel like she didn't cross because she was black and because you know if something had happened like if a driver come in got angry or if like the police came or if something happened that that she might feel like she would be more hard done by like that she would get in more trouble and I mean, that might not have been the case at all she might have just been a careful person who just didn't want to cross the road when it wasn't allowed but like in that moment it didn't even occur to me that by me crossing the road that I would get in trouble and I think I think that's a huge part of it that like I don't ever have to think about my skin color in relation to getting in trouble by like the police or like by anyone because I'm subconsciously or, or otherwise I know that I would be fine whereas like in that moment and again this might not have been the case at all but I just can't help but think that that's maybe why she was just a bit more a bit more cautious because of the color of her skin and again even if that wasn't the case 
I think it's good of me to be conscious of that and to be conscious of how lucky I have it that I can just cross the road. You know, illegally technically, like the, the person isn't green and not have to worry about it. You know, I think that's, it's super interesting and it's super humbling, I guess.